Hi there. How would you like to learn a little bit about the line focus principle and the anode heel effect and how they relate to one another? Check it out. Let's draw an anode with a roughly 45 degree angle. So what happens when we have the electrons coming in from the cathode side and that beam of electrons strikes that 45 degree anode angle, the X-ray beam that is created. If we're gonna do this geometrically, to wrap our heads around this, Notice it's about the same size, okay? So we refer to this in radiography lingo as the actual focal spot. That is the area that's impacted by this electron cloud moving, by the way, unidirectionally with DC voltage driving that current across the X-ray tube from cathode to anode. So once again, we're gonna label this uh, the actual focal spot, all right? Now, this one, the width of this beam of x-rays, or the origination of those x-rays, because we all know the x-rays are going to diverge out as they exit the tube. In fact, they're actually, they're flying all around the tube, what we call isotropically, once they're created. But we're not worried about that. We're just worried about this simple uh, geometrical representation of the x-ray beam as it's created from that stream of electrons. If we measure this width, which by the way, we refer to this as the effective focal spot, the fact is with this model, it's not very effective at all because our goal, if we were engineers and building an x-ray tube, our goal would be to make this, the width of this effective focal spot as narrow as possible. That's gonna do one very important thing, folks. That's going to improve the detail of your radiographic image. It's gonna make everything sharper and easier to visualize. But this has to be narrow. So how can we do that? First, let's back up a little bit. Why not just make this width of the actual focal spot really narrow? Here's why. We want to, as much as we can, spread this electron beam out over the surface of the target area of the anode. Why? Because these electrons are moving at about half the speed of light. They're being pushed by thousands of volts, and then they're slamming into the sand on the surface. You know what? X-ray tubes are expensive. We want to preserve them as much as we possibly can. So, in order to do that, we want to spread those electrons out as much as possible. So we run into a conundrum, don't you think? In spreading those electrons out as much as possible, we then have a wider effective focal spot. How do we get around this? Simple geometry, the line focus principle. It's an amazing thing. The key here is to create an anode angle that is less than 45 degrees. If we do that, some magic's gonna happen. And I'm gonna show you right now, and you're gonna be thrilled to death about it. Instead of a 45 degree angle, let's do one less than that. So we're gonna take our angle and we're gonna make it very slight, a very slight angle. All right, big deal. What's the difference? Well, let's do it. Let's make a really wide electron beam so we can spread those electrons out. And let's do the geometry and see what happens when we actually draw our effective focal spot. Do you see the magic, folks? Check this out. Our actual focal spot, look at the width there in comparison to our effective focal spot. By simple geometry, that is making sure our anode angle is less than 45 degrees, we have achieved our goal. We have been able to spread out our electron cloud as it impacts the surface of the target area of the anode. At the same time, our effective focal spot, this point from where they're originating, is much narrower, which is what we want to increase our detail and make our image sharp and clear. That's the line focus principle. Here's my next question for you. How does the line focus principle, let's just write that down so we don't forget it, all right? The line of focus principle, how does the line focus principle relate to the anode heel effect? Now you'll recall the anode heel effect states that there's more intensity on the cathode side, and let's not forget this is the negative side over here, this is the positive side, cathode, anode, don't forget, the anode heel effect states there's more intensity over here on the cathode side. How does that relate to the, to the line focus principle? Simple, folks. Check it out. This steep angle results in more x-ray photons, a greater number of them, coming off 
on the cathode side of things, but over here on the anode side of things, some of them are absorbed in what we call the heel of the anode. So if you imagine, you've got x-rays being created. Some of them are being absorbed in the heel, I'm gonna just say heel, heel of the anode. The important thing to note about the anode heel effect, which again is a byproduct and a symptom of the line focus principle, is that you're only going to notice the anode heel effect in any sort of measurable way when the collimators are opened all the way and you have a very, very large uh, field size. And that is because as the collimators open up and your field size increases, it's going to be markedly clear that your intensity is dropping off on the anode side of things. Now, if you're collimated tightly in and you're only, let's say, doing an 8x10 uh, image area right about here, you're not going to really notice it because the x-rays that are being created are, are pretty even in their intensity. You're only going to see it in the extreme situation where you have the collimators open really wide. And remember, you can use the anode heel effect theoretically to your benefit by placing the thickest part of the anatomy. If it's a large piece of anatomy, and we're going to assume it is if you're using a large uh, field, let's say 14 by 17, you can place the thicker part of the anatomy over on the cathode side to ensure that greater intensity is going to be used to your benefit to get through that thicker part of the part. So this is uh, by no means a complete and exhaustive review of the line focus principle uh, or the anode heel effect. It is a simple, concise explanation of what they are and how they relate to one another. So if you need more explanation, if you want to go over things in more detail, please send me an email, set up a time, come see me in my office. We'll learn more things together and it'll all be good. But for now, that's all you get. Take care and have a great day.